Giselle here. Uh, today, basically, we are going to practice a little bit of um, the IELTS examination, basically in part one. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is um, by courtesy of Eddie Clark. I am using for the first time this uh, Loom video. Thanks, Eddie. Okay. And um, okay, and also our awesome uh, group on Facebook, um, which is Kate's Mastermind Community, aka okay, people. So basically, I'm going to go into this part. Basically, I'm going to just uh, read. And um, this is strategy, or let's say technique, is just basically kind of a repetition. And um, basically, you are going to follow my words. But of course, I'm going to show you my face, my emotions in this part. Of course, my favorite speech is from Kate, okay, Kate, Kate, because I feel connected. And the more connected you feel uh, with some of these expressions, the better, okay, people? Of course, we have awesome uh, other uh, kind of um, uh, speeches there. But I am going to just focus. Uh, I'm going to just uh, focus on this uh, Kate's speech. Okay, people. Okay, part two question. Describe an important skill that someone taught you when you were a child. Who taught you? What skill have you learned? And explain the importance of this skill. So basically, native speakers, they tend to just uh, respond naturally to this question. But the ideas that we have here are the bullets, let's say that kind of uh, organizers uh, that you can use okay, in this part too, basically. And let's do it. Of course, I am a girl. Okay, I'm going to change some words, maybe, especially the part of the kit. Okay, when I was a little girl, my father taught me how to listen. I mean, really listen. I must have been uh, about eight or nine uh, when he explicitly told me this, but it's also something uh, he showed uh, me by setting an example as well. He said, try and understand how the other person is feeling. Don't uh, just listen to the words, listen for the feelings. It was a great piece of advice that has served me of, uh, well over the years. To be honest, uh, this is a skill that has been extremely useful with my family, friends, and colleagues, and one that I have honed throughout my working life. So notice, boys and girls, that in this first part, I feel that I am not so into uh, some uh, expressions because I am not a native speaker. And basically, what I'm going to do is just repeat all the all uh, all again all the paragraphs that you people. So I feel connections. I feel connections in my brain. Uh, and yeah, that is that is the idea. Okay. So listen to me as the sec this is the second time and yeah that is the way we can develop confidence okay people when I was a little girl uh, my father told me how to listen I mean really listen I must have been about eight or nine uh, when he explicitly told me this but it's also something uh, he showed me by setting an example as well. He said, uh, try and understand how the other person is feeling. Don't just uh, listen to the words. Listen for the feeling. It was a great piece of advice that has served me well over the years. To be honest, uh, this is a skill that has been extremely useful with family, friends, and colleagues, and one that I have honed throughout my working life. Okay, basically in this part, this is the second time, okay, I feel not so confident about this home. This is kind of new for me. But I'm going just to practice one more time. Uh, I didn't check this new vocabulary in the dictionary, but later, of course, the recommendation is to go to the dictionary and you can practice uh, similar examples, okay, people? Let's do it again. 
when I was a little girl, uh, my father told me how to listen. I mean, uh, really listen. It must have been about eight or nine when he explicitly uh, told me this, but it's also something he showed me by setting an example as well. Okay. Uh, he said, try to understand how the other person is feeling. Don't just listen to the words, uh, but listen to the feelings of the people, okay? Uh, it was a great piece, piece of advice that has served me of well over the years. To be honest, this is a skill uh, that has been extremely useful uh, with family, uh, colleagues and friends, and one that I have honed uh, throughout my working life. Okay, people, notice people that in this moment, I'm trying to recall or remember some expressions um, and then the idea is not to memorize, the idea is just to simply recollect some ideas from Kate, thanks Kate, and also to feel confident about some expressions there. Now I'm going to try to look at the camera and I'm going to just repeat uh, the paragraph, but now I'm going to change uh, some ideas with my natural ideas as well, okay people, let's try it. Uh, when I was a little girl, my father told me how to listen. I mean, uh, really listen. Uh, I must have been or about uh, eight or nine when he explicitly uh, told me this, but it's also something he showed me uh, by setting an example as well. He said, uh, try and understand uh, how uh, the person in that moment is feeling not only just feelings but also uh, his heart so this uh, piece of advice has served me well uh, with the time uh, to be honest uh, this is a skill that has been extremely uh, useful with my family my co-workers my friends uh, you know uh, in special moments Okay, and one that I have found throughout my working life. Okay, people, so, uh, of course, this is just a kind of a practicing. I just was checking, but the more you repeat, the better. Okay, people, I recommend you go for this. And now it's time to stop how this uh, has been useful as well. And let's quit. Have a super duper night. Okay, people.